Well hello internet and welcome to my Kiwi video tutorial. In this one tutorial I'm going to show you how to install Kiwi on both Windows as well as on Apple Mac OS and we will also write a beginning basic program to make sure everything is installed. Now Kiwi is a graphical user interface Python library that's going to allow us to develop on multi-platforms and by multi-platforms I mean Windows, Mac OS, Android, iOS, Linux, as well as Raspberry Pi. In my opinion, it is the best GUI option available for Python. And in this tutorial, we are going to see how everything is set up. And on top of that, Kiwi is also going to, for the most part, outperform HTML5 cross-platform alternatives. So I have a lot to do, so let's get into it. Okay, so first I'm going to show you how to install it on Mac, then I'm going to show you on Windows, then I'm going to show you how to write a program. So on a Macintosh, you're going to go to kiwi.org and then download. And then, of course, you're going to have to have Python installed. And I have a link in the description underneath the video. If you click on that, it's going to show you how to install Python as well as how to install PyCharm. I'm going to make everything work with PyCharm as well. So I didn't want to go through that whole process again, and chances are if you are following my Learn to Program series, you already know how to install Python and PyCharm. But if not, in the description you can find a link to that. So if you're on Mac, you're going to click on this. We're going to be using Python 3, so you just click on that guy and install that or it's going to download for you. Then after you do that, you're going to open up your terminal. It's in your applications folder on Mac. And you're just going to type in, this is going to be wherever the directory is that you downloaded Kiwi into. So more than likely, if you're installing this now, you're going to get Kiwi 1.9.1, and you're going to change to that directory. Then you're going to type in sudo move kiwi3.app and move it into your applications folder. Again, in the description I have a link and you can copy and paste this stuff so you don't, you know, accidentally miss a space or miss a period somewhere or whatever. Then you're going to type in this line or copy and paste this line into your terminal. And then you're going to type in Kiwi just to make sure it works. And it's going to come in here and it's going to work with Python 3.5 if you have that all set up. And it's going to open up your Python interpreter. And to see if everything worked, you just type in import Kiwi, hit enter. And if you don't see any error messages, you see basically what you have here, you know that it works. Then to get out of the Python interpreter, you're going to type in quit with the two parentheses, get out of that. And then you're going to be able to run your Kiwi applications by just typing in Kiwi and whatever the name of your Python application is. Now I'm going to jump over, show you how to install on Windows, and then we are going to write applications so that you can test to make sure that everything works perfectly. Alright, so to install on Windows, what you're going to do is you're not going to go to the kiwi.org site. You are just going to open up your command prompt and you're going to type in Python. It doesn't have to be in the downloads folder. It can be anywhere. You're going to type in python-m pip install and upgrade pip wheel setup tools and it's going to download a whole bunch of things pretty quick. Then after you do that, you are then going to type in python-m pip install and docutils, pigments, and all of these other different things. And you're going to hit enter, and it's going to download all of that stuff. Like I said, just click on the link in the description, copy and paste the stuff, paste it into your command prompt, and everything's going to work. And this is on Windows. Just want to reiterate that. Then to install Kiwi in the command prompt, you're going to type in python-m pip install Kiwi. And all of that is going to download. And as long as you don't see any errors, you are ready to go. All right, so now that we have all that installed, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a file, and it's going to be called kiwitut.py. It's a Python file. And I'm going to create this first inside of Macintosh. Then I'm going to create it in Windows, and you're going to see them both run. So if you want to use Kiwi, first you're going to have to import the Kiwi module. And don't worry about any errors that you might see right now. All that's going to get fixed. And then you can type in Kiwi and require. And in this part of the tutorial, we are using 1.9.1, I believe, but I'm just going to put 0 inside of there, just so we use the right one. You're going to have to import some more Kiwi modules inside of here. App, import, app. And this is going to give you the ability to use all the different fields as well as methods provided by Kiwi. And in the next part of the tutorial, we'll really get into some cool stuff. Right now, I just want to make sure that everything is set up. And we will import label. 
And then what we want to do, like I said, we want to inherit Kiwi's app class, and that's actually going to represent the window that is on the screen that you're going to put all of your widgets inside of. And to do that, we're going to say class, and I'm going to call this hello Kiwi, and pass app inside of there. And then basically we're going to call a function called build, and this is going to return the content we want in the window. So we're going to put self inside of there. And then what we want to do is we're going to open up a window and we are going to return a label widget with hello Kiwi inside of it. So you're going to go return and label and the text you want for this label is just going to be hello Kiwi. And then you just have to go and create the object for it. So I'm going to call this hello Kiwi is equal to and hello Kiwi to create that hello Kiwi object. And then to run everything, you just go hello Kiwi and you call for run. All right, and that is it. And that's called kiwitut.py. Then inside of your terminal, you're going to have to, it's gonna work different on Macs than it does on Windows. So basically on Macintosh, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you are in the folder. So here is kiwitut.py. So you're going to want to change directory to the directory where you saved this Python file. And then to run it, you're just going to type in kiwi, kiwitut.py, hit enter, and there it is. There is your application, and you know that everything has been properly installed, and you will be ready to do more advanced things after that. So now, just to prove that all of this works exactly the same on Windows, and this is PyCharm we're running this on, I'm going to copy this. And here I am in the world of Windows. So I'm going to paste all of that directly inside of there. And the one difference between running this on a Macintosh with PyCharm versus running it on Windows with PyCharm is you're going to be able to run it directly inside of PyCharm. You're not going to have to do the thing with the terminal. And we're going to save this as kiwitut.py. There it is, kiwitut.py. And same thing. And we'll say OK just to give it the same name. And then to run it, you're just gonna right click, and then you're gonna see run unit tests in Kiwi Tut, hit enter, and boom, there's your application. So on Windows, you don't have to do the whole terminal thing. You can just right click in here and automatically run it, and everything's gonna work perfectly. So now I'm gonna jump back over into the world of Mac and show you something else we can do with Kiwi. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna copy and paste this because Kiwi gives us the option to separate the presentation layer from the logic layer. And we're gonna use a special Kiwi file to, in this situation, transport the label inside of here with the text. You're gonna see exactly how this works. So basically, we're going to keep everything here pretty much the same, except I am going to, here I just created a new file called kiwitut2.py. And here I'm going to put app inside of here. The app part is important, and you're going to see why here in a moment. And then down inside of the build section, what I'm going to do is once again return a label widget with hello Kiwi inside of it, but I'm going to be referencing a Kiwi file here. So what I'm going to do instead of having the text part be inside of here, I'm going to delete that part, and then I'm going to reference another file that's going to have all the, the text inside of it. So that's all I changed. I went and just got rid of that and I put app up here instead of that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new file called hello kiwi.kv and whenever you are naming this, the name of the kv file has to be hello kiwi. And the reason why is we call this hello kiwi app. So basically the kv file is gonna be whatever precedes the app part right there. So just simply hello Kiwi. That way they're going to be able to match each other up and provide that information. So now inside of here and like I said we're going to do this so we can separate the logic from the presentation layer. So to create our label over inside of here we're just going to say label and colon tab in and then we'll put our text inside of here. Whenever we do more complicated examples you'll see exactly why something like this could be a good idea. So then we're going to save it and we're going to bounce over here and we're going to save that and then over inside of the terminal once again we are going to change this to kiwi tut 2 so come over here change it to that and run it 
whoop, and I got a little bit of an error because I was being silly. Make sure you put app inside of there and save it and run it again. And there you can see, hello Kiwi shows up. And if you just want to make sure that this indeed is a completely different thing, you can put the two inside of there, save that and rerun it again. And here it says hello Kiwi 2. All right, so now to prove that everything works the same on Windows as well as Macintosh, I am just going to copy this bounce over inside of Windows. I am in Windows right now. Paste that inside of there. Jump back over inside of here. Copy this file right here. And this is going to be hellokiwi.kv. And I'm going to go File. And then I'm going to say New File. And this one's going to be hellokiwi.kv. OK. And it's going to pop this up. It's not going to know what that is. Just leave it as text right now. Click on OK. Paste in the exact same information you had before. And save it jump back over inside of here. Everything else should be exactly the same and we will click and if it doesn't give you the option to run you come up here and click on run unit test in Kiwi Tut and whenever you do you're going to see hello Kiwi 2 shows up right there. So there you go guys this is the beginning of what will be a really fun tutorial just wanted to keep everything short and sweet to make sure that everybody can get everything installed perfectly and like always please leave your questions and comments below. Otherwise, till next time.